Welcome to creating a letter grade column in the full grade center in Blackboard Learn. In Blackboard Learn, instructors can create a column that will display the letter grade, which is automatically calculated by the system. In order to create a letter grade column, the instructor must first have a grading schema within the full grade center. By default, a grading schema is already pre-created within Blackboard Learn. To view or modify the existing grading schema, hover your mouse over Manage and click on Grading Schemas. On the following page, an existing grading schema is available. For this video demonstration, we will edit the existing grading schema. To do this, hover your mouse cursor over the title of the grading schema and click on the action link or drop down arrow that appears. When the menu expands, click on Edit. On the Edit Grading Schema screen, the instructor can rename the schema if they wish and provide a schema mapping in reference to their grading schema within their course. Instructors can add rows by clicking on the arrow button under the Insert Rows section, or instructors can delete a row by simply clicking the Delete Row button. Once the instructor has made all of the changes or modifications to the grading schema, click on Submit at the bottom of the screen. Your grading schema will now be saved, and the instructor can now create the column. To access the full grade center, Click OK at the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you are back in the full grade center, hover your mouse over Create Calculated Column, and you can either click on Total Column or Weighted Column, depending on how you calculate letter grades in your course. The Total Column will add all columns or categories together, and the Weighted Column will calculate the grade based on the weights of each column or category. For this video demonstration, we will choose to create a calculated total letter grade column. On the Create Total Column screen, you can provide a column name for the total column. Provide a grade center name if you wish, as well as a description. In the Primary Display section, choose Letter as the method for primary display. If you wish to have a secondary display, you can choose out of this list. However, it's only shown in the Grade Center to instructors, not to students. In Section 3, you can choose the columns that you would like for the total column to calculate. For our purposes, we will choose all grade columns. In reference to calculating as a running total, if you choose to calculate the running total, it will only include items that have grades or attempts. If you choose not to calculate as a running total, this will include all items. And if there is not a score or an attempt within a grade area, a zero value will be given. For example, if your course has 16 assignments and you have only completed 14 of the assignments so far, if you calculate as a running total, the total column will only include the 14 out of 14 graded attempts. If you choose not to calculate as a running total, this will include the 14 out of 16 attempts. For our purposes, we will choose not to calculate as a running total. In Section 4, you can choose the standard options for your column, such as including in the Grade Center calculations, availability to students, and statistics. When you have chosen all the options for your total letter grade column, click Submit at the bottom of the screen. Once you click Submit, the calculated total letter grade column will be created. This has been creating a calculated letter grade column in Blackboard Learn.